Hey, this is the Atomic Browser. I'm using an iPad 2. And this browser is very nice. Anybody who is using Safari should consider looking at this. The nice part about this browser is it supports tabs. Tabs are very popular on the desktop browsers like Firefox and IE and even Safari. And as you can see from the tabs here, you can just touch and it switches to the various pages that I have open. And it's very easy to navigate from one page to the other. And I have more tabs than what fits on the screen, so you just scroll it by sliding, and then you can continue to see the tabs that are open. If I want to close a tab down, you just click the X to the right of the tab and it closes the tab. If you want to open a new tab you press the plus sign over here. It opens a new tab and then you can go to the URL line and enter something that you want. The browser is also very fast there's lots of other features in this browser. You also have something called Ad Blocker, which will block many of the ads on sites that get a little obnoxious. So the ad blocking is available from the settings menu. You can even uh, edit the filters. So if there's something that's missing, you can add your own filter to this built-in list. So this is pretty good. This will block most of the ads on, on the sites. While we're in the settings menu, you can see there's lots of options here. You can tune the search engines to what search engine you want to use. You can tell it on startup what you want the browser to do. Load the last page, load the last session, blank page. Lots of options here. You have color themes. It's a full screen browser where it can get rid of the menus and you can control various buttons that it will use when it's in full screen mode. As you can see there's lots of options here. In the tabs option, this is pretty powerful. You've got ways of controlling how a tab opens defined by page, new tab, current tab. So if you want, if the tab is on a, if the link you're going to click is on a different domain, you can force it to a new tab. Like I've done here with the check mark. On the same domain, you can also control new tab or let the, uh, the site decide what it should do when you click a link. It supports bookmarklets, but it's not very uh, powerful here. It's kind of awkward to get them set up. This is something they're going to need to uh, fine tune for people that use it. You also have Dropbox. Dropbox is very popular, and this will automatically drop the downloads that you do into a specific folder and then when you download something if we were to take a graphic like Fat Wallet we want to download that image let's say we download the file we'll give it a name fw.jpg and we'll click save now if we go to the download icon over here. You can see there's my fatwallet.jpg file. If I click the blue button next to it, I can now put that in my Dropbox. And now it's been synced. Very nice, nicely integrated there. Another neat feature of Atomic. Atomic has some pretty straightforward bookmark features. 
The bookmark icon is over here. You open it. You see your bookmarks. You have folders also within bookmarks. What's interesting here is there's a blue button next to the bookmark. If you pick that blue button, it allows you to open the site in a new tab or the current tab. So new tab is nice. Opens in a new tab automatically. You can also hit the plus button and then go to bookmarks to open in a new tab, but that's a little bit quicker. What they don't support yet is anything like X marks or any sort of a syncing function to get your bookmarks back to your desktop. I'm hoping that a future update will offer something because X marks is very popular. Other features you have full screen mode over here is that little icon. You click that, you get rid of the title bar or the corners of the iPad. It's just full with the browser. And I don't know if the video shows this. Yes, it does. You can see in the bottom right corner is a ghosted icon that gets you out of full screen mode. You click that and you're, you're back to seeing your menus in the top. So once again, if you click this full screen, you get the little ghosted icon in the bottom right. Click that and it goes back to regular mode. Adding bookmarks is simple. You hit the plus key. There's also several other options in here to post the URL to Facebook or Twitter. You can also print. Lots of nice features. Very well done. Settings is the gear. You have a few options in here. I have not tried the private mode. Some people I know are going to like that. Atomic can use bookmarklets. I'm on the iGoogle page right now and I have a bookmarklet which is a JavaScript that can remove this unpopular sidebar that Google insists on leaving there. So with a bookmarklet we would just go to bookmarks I called it iGoogle tab remover. Select it and as you can see my sidebar is now gone. Problem is you'd have to do this every time you launch the website running that bookmarklet. But it does support it and it does work uh, well especially with iGoogle. You can also add your own buttons to the browser so right here you have an option called regular screen buttons and it gives you up to seven custom buttons so if we pick button one we can say alright maybe we want a go to top button so now we've got it and let's add a button two maybe we want go to bottom so now we've got two buttons set up go back to settings, close and now you'll see on the bottom of the browser these ghosted buttons one is go to top, one is go to bottom Atomic also allows you to set up some multi-touch uh, features so like in this case if I slide this way it goes to the next tab so instead of hitting the tabs you can just slide around. If I want to go to the bottom of a page, we take like this tech bargain site. It's very big. There's a lot of data. If you want to quickly get to the bottom, just use two fingers down. It gets you right to the bottom of the page. If we do two fingers up, it goes to the top of the page. Within the settings, you can control these multi-touches. So if your two fingers swipe, if you don't want to have that switch to the previous tab, as you can see you have lots of options here to make it do whatever you want. Pretty nifty, nice and controllable to your taste. Some other nice features in the Atomic browser for tuning the overall feel. 
the top title where it shows you the time, the Wi-Fi, and the battery, you can get rid of that by going to settings and then status bar. You have two options. You can get rid of a full screen and for regular. So in regular, I would like that off. And now when we exit the menu, you'll see now the top status bar is gone. So now you just see the atomic screen on the top level. You can also, when you're switching to full screen, I had pointed out you have that button here to go to full screen. A quicker way to go to full screen is just the three finger tap. Go to three finger, and as you can see the top title is gone. Do a three finger tap again, and you get back your tabs and your title. Very, very flexible. When you search for something, and you press the search bar here, you get a pull down of the search engines that are available and set up. So you've got all the popular search engines here to pick from. So when you do the search, we'll pick atomic clock. Well, if we want, we can use Wikipedia. And now we're at the Wikipedia site. Now also for the address bar and the search bar, you have a couple tunables. Go over here to address and search bar. And you can turn on or off search suggestions. S correct the spelling. So you have quite a few options here also to tune it the way you like it. Overall, this is a very nice browser. It's uh, 99 cents in the App Store. I highly recommend it.